back primal projects today uh i actually just put out a video on strength side as we're filming this i don't know when this is going out but uh it was about my journey with 30 days of climbing and i climbed every day for 30 days if you haven't watched the video it's on strength side check it out got the goods it's a man and his cock i'm not liable for anything i do before my coffee but i wanted to talk about like not only my experience with climbing, but also just how interesting of a time it is when you're starting some sort of new, like, I mean, activity, but really like a physical hobby or practice or whatever you want to call it. Um, but like how much juice there is to squeeze out of that experience, man, it's like, it's such an exciting time. And also it's, it's like a paradigm shifting time. And I think, uh, in episode four of the Primal Projects, Josh and I talked about um, how to change your perspective on things. And like the main thing we talked about was like, just keep doing new things. And now I'm doing something new and I'm like witnessing that happen. Like I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about nature differently. Cause I'm like walking through, I'm like, oh, I can climb that. I think, oh no, that rock, it's too, Chaucy. <laughs> Is that the right word? Nice tech. Is that it? <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Um, but uh, yeah, and I'm also like thinking about my body differently, right? Instead of thinking about it in terms of like, well, I used to like, I mean, I still like to like dance and do jujitsu and stuff, but now there's this whole other skill set that I'm thinking about too. So it's, it's really, um, man, it's just really an interesting time. And so I wanted to talk about that today just kind of in terms of like like I can definitely relate it to what I'm going through right now but also just like what like what the point of it all is mm. you know having physical practices having activities uh, that you are excited about well like the thing that's coming out of you right now is just this like ins inspiration piece where like you start something new and it's like Boom, like your whole world is open and like once it once it grabs you uh, and there's like the stoke there's just like the excitement around this and I really got to like watch that happen for you it actually started to happen like like a little before the 30 days of climbing and that's like why you did it because mm -hmm. you were feeling that stoke and you were like well what would happen if I if I just did this I mean, talk about that. Like what, what has that stoke been like for you in the past, like, let's say like two months for the, with climbing? Oh, that was like the hardest easy route. <laughs> See what we can do, eh? Yeah, I mean, it's been really cool. So I I've felt this same sensation before um, when I first got into jujitsu, um, when I first got into a different like dance or acrobatics and things like that, where it's like, it can be very consuming of your life because it's running unconsciously in your mind, even when you're doing other things. Like there's, um, there's this funny thing that happens to me whenever I'm picking up a new skill and this is how I know I'm learning, is I wake up and I realize like I was doing it in my sleep, right? <laughs> And I remember when I started jujitsu, I would literally wake up to me like scooting my butt. <laughs> and one time I scooted out of bed and that's how I woke up. Like I just, just shrimped right off the bed. So, um, so like it's definitely, that's how I know it's like got its hooks in me because my subconscious is just, is like, it's working its way through these issues that are coming up that I'm not even realizing are coming up, right? It's like, it's like your, your mind is figuring out like different body positions and like different tensions and things like that, that, um, that like, it's, it's just so crazy how much is happening underneath that layer of consciousness that we have. It is very, it's a motivating time because you feel that happening and you can't help but just like keep coming back to it. Like you just like want, you like, you can't wait for the next time when you get to go try that thing you've been kind of thinking about. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like right now I'm, uh, like the past like couple of days have been like, I gotta, like, I gotta go climb outside. Like I've had like the climbs in my head now that I've like got a scope for the area. I'm like, 
like every day there's probably 10 times that I think about like, God, I gotta go, <laughs> I gotta go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then like, if I itch. don't, yeah, if I don't go, then I like, I watch like a climbing documentary or I look up the climbs in the area on mountain projects and I'm mm. like, I'm like, Oh, that one would be so cool. This one. And, uh, yeah, it's like really just got its hooks in you and it's, it's so inspiring. Yeah. And what's cool is it, it's a, it's a time that you can really piggyback off of because you're feeling that motivation. It, it's like all encompassing in the way that you could use that motivation to train more. You could use that motivation just to get outside more, like whatever kind of fits that you can, you can t- tag along to that motivation. Definitely use it. Like that's like a superpower that you have right now yeah. is motivation. Yeah. Right. And so like, I've been finding that like, I really want to stick to my training because it makes climbing feel better right now for me. If I'm just climbing, like I notice like my body doesn't feel the best, but if I'm climbing and training a lot, like my body feels so good and I'm making like a ton of progress. Um, and also like just, you mentioned climbing outside, but just like being outside right now feels good. Cause like you're scoping out the area, you're, you're taking in like how rocks form and like what would be good climbing versus bad climbing. Like all these different things just come from this one activity activity. And right now it's an obsession, but it won't always be. So like, that's what I'm saying. Like use that excitement that you have when you start a new skill, like yeah. let, like let that be, um, something that's like positive in multiple facets of your life. Right this inspiration that you get, like you start something new, this is sort of like what life's about. (laughs) Like you get, (laughs) you, you like get this, like this energy, you know, this like deep well of like, whoa, man, like there's so much opportunity. There's like so much goodness to be felt. Um, and like really this activity could be with you the rest of your life and it can keep evolving and growing. Um, but like, I think it's a, I think it's a good reason to just, just be trying things and just like see what sort of like hits that spot for you, you know? Yeah. I think the, um, the advice that I hear often is to have like different activities or hobbies that you're in different stages of, uh, competence with. Right. So have like one thing that you're truly working on mastering. So you've been doing that one for years, one, you know, who knows how many, but most people could probably only handle one at a time. Um, but then, um, but yeah, then maybe you have like a couple that you're like maybe a couple of years into and you're, you're, you're kind of past this like excitement phase and you're really starting to get into like kind of the training phase where you're, you're um, putting things together. You're like, you're feeling competent, but you also see how deep that well goes. You're like, man, I don't know if I want to jump all the way in but then like have a few things that you're completely new at yeah and like you feel this excitement ideally you're working through a lot of these different things uh these different levels and um just know that you're gonna eventually push through the beginner phase and become intermediate in some sense and it's not gonna be the same the same level of excitement or inspiration it it changes yeah and there will be waves of it Mm-hmm. There will be like periods where it lulls and you're kind of like, oh man, like handstands aren't as fun as they used to be. But then like, I don't know, it'll come back in a different way, in a new way. And, you know, and maybe because you're more skillful, you'll get to like enjoy something new about it. The waves, there's waves with these things. Yeah, like I think always be picking things up and that's, that's the inspiration as well. Like if you're not pursuing something and like inspired by something, then, you know, I kind of come back to that. Like, what are, what are we doing? You know, like that's sort of like, that's what makes life worth living is like our relationships and then like our explorations and, uh, like, like experiencing things. Right. So if those aren't happening, like, I think it's time to, to jump into something and try. 
Yeah, definitely. And on the on the flip side of that, like the same issue is like if you don't have something that you're feeling excited about, some sort of activity or something, like you risk running into life being dull. Like I know I've felt that from time to time throughout my life where uh say I've like gone deep into some practices and then you have some sort of like coming to almost like coming to reality where you realize like yeah this thing is important to me but it's not it's not the most important thing Mm -hmm. right and then you have to kind of reassess in life and and you realize like oh man i just get to create meaning out of anything i do but sometimes you go through phases of life where the idea that you get to create the meaning out of life is actually really scary because you're like well what what meaning do i want to give life does life even have a meaning to me right now? When you are regularly giving yourself new op- new opportunities to try new things, like meaning comes from those things, right? Inspiration comes from those things. And then from that, like meaning kind of just, it just appears, mm-hmm. right? Well, it's kind of like, like dance. It's like, there's no... There's no reason to dance. <laughs> There's no like logical reason that you should do that. Right? Mm-hmm. When you hear music and then when you feel music and then when you allow like your being to express to music like that, that's meaning. I feel it's just it's like, it's like, it doesn't make sense, <laughs> but when it comes out of you, it's like, Oh yeah, that's important, Mm -hmm. you know? And like, I think, I think that's another reason to, um, to keep going with what you're doing because once you get a, once you get a certain level of competency, you're, you're like, you're better, better able to express that, Mm. right? Like with climbing, like you get a certain level of competency, like you're better, better able to like express your body in getting up a rock and uh and that feels like divine in a certain sense (laughs) like same with dance it's like when you can better like move your body and like create with like move to rhythm and feel waves like it feels like bigger yeah yeah i mean it feels like something's moving through you Mm -hmm. and that's kind of coming back to that like we're talking about like your subconscious working through shit like really what's happening is like um like when you get into those flow states all of a sudden all that shit your subconscious has been doing it's just like well i'm taking over you know like you know i got this step back dude right (laughs) and uh yeah i mean like like man being able to be good enough at something to where you drop into a flow state and you can kind of repeatedly do that over time like that truly is I mean like for me at least those are the moments where I have I feel a lot of meaning in life it's sort of repeating what we said earlier but like it doesn't have to be this thing that's like I have meaning because Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah you don't have to be able to like (laughs) to uh articulate it no right it's just like it's a feeling yeah it's I it's just this like full-on presence and energy of, of the moment you know, and like those are the times those are the times we feel meaning is actually when we're out of our head you know yeah 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 and actually like i think that's a really important component of like having physical practices is anxiety stress it's just your mind like working through things planning things you know like it's 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 there for a reason but also it can become too much for for many of us i'd say most of us at points of our lives like it becomes too much yeah and so having physical practices or just hobbies in general it gives your mind something to chew on yeah. that's not i suck i'm not good enough oh i can't believe i have to do x y and z tomorrow and i have this bill and that you know it's like it's like no like i'm more interested in in uh, how to play a g yeah 
<laughs> I gotta get this. God damn. <laughs> I cannot do a bar chord. I've just been working on bar chords for oh, like dude. two weeks now, and I just still can't get it. But when I'm trying it, my mind is just like, oh. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's all there is, is that bar chord, you know? I, I don't know if you noticed this about us, but like, we don't like to like talk about research and stuff. Like, like, I think science is very, very important and it can't always explain everything that we experience in our lives, but there's a lot of research that shows that people who like have hobbies, have practices experience flow states regularly they're generally happier and more fulfilled with life and i would say this is probably one of the main reasons Mm -hmm. you're out of that shitty part of your stressful mind more often yeah and we all got it i mean everyone's got that (laughs) and that's yeah i mean just like being being inside is just like at a certain point it's not very inspiring. <laughs> no, know, like, no. Get, like, I think that's part of what we're talking about with this topic is just like get out in the world and do things, you know, and, and whatever that may be. That might even just be like going to like a gathering event, you know, like not even necessarily building a skill, but just like going to a community gathering, <laughs> you know, like get out in the world. And I think that that's something I didn't do until I was like 23 years old, (laughs) Mm -hmm. maybe even older. Uh, and it brought a lot of wholeness and, um, inspiration into my life. Yeah. Well, I think, man, there was something you said, um, just kind of like going out into the world. I feel like when you are starting something new and potentially later on in that process too, but it really feels like you're you're um, you're an explorer, an adventurer. Uh, you know, like you're you're discovering new things. You know, you're going out on the frontier and you're, you're like figuring out what's out there. And like I know for me, man, the first you know when you when I started jujitsu, it like really felt like I was like discovering parts of myself that I didn't know were there and same with same with dance and I'm curious to see if climbing is that that same way but definitely jujitsu and and dance were two things where I was it was just like I was like I was like uncovering parts of myself that had been hidden since you know I was a child it also kind of allows you to think about the world that way too it's not just a self-discovery it's also like oh, there's other people out there who already do this thing. Yeah. Like, what are they like? And like, or potentially for climbing, it's like, wow, there's rocks out in Yosemite that are like 3,000 feet tall. What is that like, you know? And so it's it just like, it's so, man, it's so inspiring to just like have those perspective shifts mm-hmm. and realize like I've been thinking about myself in the world this one way. Very limited. Yeah, yeah, and just realize like, you know, it's like a flash, like, like looking out into the darkness, like, wow, there's all that other shit out there. Like, let me go over there and see what that's about. Yeah. And I would add to that is that it's actually made me like a lot more open because I realized like, oh, I never, I didn't like dance before. I actually thought it was pretty weird and dumb. And now I love it. And so, and there's a whole, there's whole communities around it love those communities and the the openness comes from like oh like i'm not into weaving but maybe i could be and i'm sure there's communities around that that are amazing (laughs) you know and so it's just made me more like curious about the world more like i i just i just am not judgmental just when people are into things i'm like oh great tell me about that yeah versus like oh <laughs> that's weird or yo one one that comes up i think um probably if you're listening to this you 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 maybe have heard people talk about this but like in the martial arts communities because mma has gotten so big there's been like this really big push for the the main martial arts you know the ones that actually work it's like wrestling jujitsu uh, Thai boxing or American kickboxing, right? Like, like these are the main things that work. And then all these other things, they're 
dumb. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, maybe they're not the best thing, but if you think of them as, as art forms, as something that you can learn, that you could not just learn because you want to be the best fighter, but like learn about yourself yeah. and learn about the world, then anything can become interesting. You know, like as long as there's a deep, as long as there's like a deep well to jump into, it may be worthwhile for you. Like, and you don't know which ones you're going to gravitate towards. And so like, how could I sit here and judge other people for wanting to do Jeet Kune Do or something like, you know, like some yeah. obscure martial art that maybe isn't the best one for martial, for like mixed martial arts, but to you, it may be the most interesting thing. And, like, I can't help but just say, like, good for you. Like, that's so dope that you found something that inspires you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Ugh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Oh, this you're welcome. Great. Anytime. Um, <laughs> like the video if you liked it. Comment. Um you know, any more topics that you'd like to see. And also, you know, comment what physical practices you're starting or already an expert in. Just give us some, uh, some insight into where you guys are on, on this journey of competency. Hell yeah. Subscribe. We're a new channel. So like all of that really, really, really helps us. And it gives us the opportunity to continue making more of this. Hell yeah. All right. That's it. Peace. really went somewhere. <laughs>